So now that E3 is over, I just want to make this quick video and discuss with you guys my favorite parts about E3 or some of the games that I saw at E3 and that I really want to play right now. Uh, but a lot of these games are coming out either in late 2014 or late 2015. Uh, I made a video last week saying that I want to see Batman Arkham Knight, Borderlands the pre-sequel, Homefront the Revolution, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Battlefield Hardline. I want to see these five games at E3. And it was funny because on the day that I posted that video, it was Monday, uh, Crytek came out with the trailer of Homefront the Revolution. And at the end of it, they said, we're going to be at E3 and look for us. And I was just like, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I was so pumped up. I was so excited. The trailer looked great. And I was like, finally, finally, we're going to see something about Homefront, the revolution. So basically Homefront 2 at E3. And I was just like, oh, man, I really hope we see something about Homefront at E3. So I was really happy when they came out with that trailer. And I was very pleased with the, you know what I saw at E3, you know, the single player mission and the new ways you can approach uh, you know a mission and you have to be very tactical in how you uh, Approach your objectives and that was pretty cool there and the graphics look great Hopefully the the game runs well when it comes out and hopefully there is multiplayer because I know there's been a rumor going around uh, I'm not sure if it's been confirmed or denied that there will be multiplayer in Homefront the revolution but I do know for a fact that they are coming out with the co-op and so hopefully maybe we can have multiplayer at a later date and just instead of them saying no we're not having multiplayer at all so now that i'm watching e3 i see a trailer for rise of the tomb raider and i'm i'm thinking to myself oh yes they're coming out with a new tomb raider game and i played the last tomb raider and it was just it was great it was a fantastic game i love the adventure uh i love the single player story i loved the open world, the graphics were great. Everything about the game was fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure about the multiplayer. I really haven't touched that yet. Uh, but the single player was amazing. And you know, I really enjoyed the single player. Uh, like I said, the story and just all around a, a great experience. So now I am definitely looking forward to Rise of the Tomb Raider to come out and uh, I guess pick up where the last game ended. I'm not sure if they're going to start something new or you know something like that. Uh, but really looking forward to this game and uh, can't wait to play it. So the second game that I saw during E3 uh, was The Division. And I know this game has been announced for a few months uh, before E3, but I really haven't paid too much attention to this game. And so seeing some gameplay, I'm really starting to get interested in this game and I really uh, am paying more attention to the game. So I know they had a petition a few months back uh, to bring a you know, the, a version of the Division to PC, which is great. So now Ubisoft is working on, you know, a Division PC version. So that's pretty cool. But now let's talk about the two games I really want to focus on, and they are Call of Duty Events Warfare and Battlefield Hardline. Now let's talk about Battlefield Hardline first. I have played the beta uh, for the last few days, and I already reached max level, which is 10. And uh, I got to say, I do not like the feel of hardline I just I don't know what it is uh, it, the graphics and the feel is similar to Battlefield 4 but they're like toned down and changed a little bit and I don't know I like the feel of Battlefield 3 and people have called me crazy for liking it they, you know they said that the feel of Battlefield 3 war tank are you crazy are you nuts it felt chunky it felt slow you know, it felt like your soldier was fat, you know, whatever. So, and, you know, it just goes to show that everybody likes something different. And uh, I like the feel of Battlefield 3. I like the feel of Battlefield 4 a little bit less than Battlefield 3, but more than Hardline. Um, so I, I guess I just have to keep playing Hardline to get used to it. But I, I, I just really don't like the feel of Hardline. The whole cop and robbers uh, thing is, is pretty cool, you know, on a large scale, having these large maps and, and these new missions and uh, driving around the police cruisers and motorcycles and whatnot is, is pre pretty awesome, not going to lie. It's pretty fun. I had a blast, but usually I get the really bad team who does not know what they're doing, so they're not by the objectives and they're not going for them and they're just running around playing like it's teamed up match and just trying to get kills. Uh, but I don't blame you guys. It's a beta, you know, whatever. Um... But I'm not sure if I'm going to get this game when it comes out. I might wait. 
But uh, I'm going to keep playing Battlefield 3 because I truly do love that game. It's fantastic. Like I said, I love, I love the, the way the game feels. And that's what makes me keep coming back to Battlefield 3 after each release of a new Battlefield game. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. You know, maybe I might uh, find myself enjoying Hardline a little bit more if I just continue to play it. But uh, that's that for right now. So now let's focus on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, we saw some single-player uh, footage at E3, and we saw that mission, and it looked pretty cool. You have new toys, a lot of new toys. You have, like, a moving riot shield. You have, like, a laser beam. You have some futuristic stuff going on there and some grenades that seek out people and kill them or grenades you throw, and, and it lights up every enemy red. Uh, my only concern with advanced warfare is how they're going to bring things from the single player campaign into multiplayer I'm worried that the balance issue will not be there and that there will be a whole list of annoying items and perks and things you can do in multiplayer that will just be completely annoying so that's my only concern right I'm I'm digging the game I'm digging the futuristic thing it, it seems pretty cool uh, right, the graphics look great. Next generation, new uh, engine for the game, Ho or at least that's what they say. But I I'm hoping they're not lying to us this time. And you know, they had three years to work on this. The the story, the campaign, I'm really digging that. You know, Kevin Spacey's in there, and you know, I would buy the game just for the campaign. But how they do multiplayer is my only concern. With the exoskeleton suit, with the heat-seeking grenades, and uh, you know, the things that you throw out and, and lights up your enemies red and just I'm not sure if these things will be completely balanced because like Black Ops 2 you had to run You know most of the time you had to run a certain setup to counter Every annoying item or grenade or lethal or you know <laughs> what a tactical what you had to counter everything in the game like people would just spam EMPs you had to have flak jacket on you had to have ghost on or wait no you had to have this and this and this and there's just you had to counter most of the time playing black ops 2 you had to counter everything that was annoying and so I hope there's a better way to counter things that are annoying in uh, advanced warfare and I just hope they don't have too many annoying things in the multiplayer and that's basically my only concern for hard or not hardline, but uh, advanced warfare. I hope the game's great. Hopefully the net code's good. Hopefully there's no broken camera angles. Hopefully you know everything's balanced and and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to Call of Duty. I mean, I took this last year off. I didn't buy Ghost, and you know I've just been really upset with uh, Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 how those games turned out. And so I just thought I would give it you know a year. I haven't touched any other Call of Duty that I own, and, you know, hopefully I can pick it up with Advanced Warfare uh, later in November. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, let me know your thoughts, guys, on what you saw at E3. If you have a favorite game or favorite games, if you want to write a list, you know, what are your favorite moments during E3? Let me know. I'm Wartank. I'm getting out of here, and of course, as always, in the meantime, have a great time fragging.